Hi guys, jumping right into the tutorial. I'm taking this orangey shade from the Morphe 35O palette and I'm gonna use this as my first transition. So first I'm just applying it with a Real Techniques blending brush and really blowing out this color all over the outer corner and on the crease um, line slightly bringing it inwards. And here I'm just gonna build up this color until it's the intensity that I want, making sure that it's all fully blended out. So of course I'm taking my time with each individual shadow to make sure it's all blended. Now going in with this like penny copper shade, I'm gonna apply this on the outer corner of my eye and really build it up first and then slightly start to blend it upwards and closer to my inner corner as soon as I don't have as much pigment on it because I do want most of the pigment to stay on the outer corner of my eye. And then once I have that place, I'll go in with the blending brush and whatever is left on that brush from the pigment before, I'll use that to blend both of those colors together. Now taking this chocolatey warm brown shade, I'm going to apply this on the outer corner of my eye and really focus on applying this just on the outer corner and then when there's not much pigment on the brush, I'll slightly bring it on the crease line and bring it inwards. I don't want a lot of the darkness to be brought into the inner corners because I want this look to kind of elongate our eyes. So keeping all the darkness and the smokiness on the outer corner is going to help us do so. So I really want to focus all those colors out there and then just blend them all out so there's no harsh lines. And now going in with this brown shade, I'm gonna apply this on the outer corner right on top of that chocolate brown that we just applied. So for this look, like I said, I want all that darkness to be focused on the outer corner. So I'm really gonna build up with a bunch of different um, brown eyeshadows, but this is up to you how deep you wanna make it. Um, you can make it super smoky like I did and really build each individual color up. Or you could, you know, stop here if this is as smoky as you wanna get, if this is already too much. It's just what your preference is. And then here I'm taking that copper brown shade from before and just blending out the harsh lines between all those different browns we just applied. Next, I'm gonna go in with the darkest brown eyeshadow in this palette. I'm gonna apply this on the outer corner and really focus on applying it just on the outer V of my eye. I'm not gonna bring this color up too high. That way it could start darkest, closest to the lash line, and then when it goes up towards the brow, it has that really pretty gradient effect. So I wanna keep all that darkness um, on the outer V and then whatever is left on my brush I'm just bringing it inwards so it can all blend together nicely. My lid color I'm going to be going in with the new highlighter. This is in the shade Salted Caramel. It was a gift, an early birthday present from one of my best friends. So thank you so much Pippa Girl. But here I'm just applying it on my lid and then just to make it even more metallic -y, I'm taking my setting spray and spritzing my brush with it and then going right back into the palette and applying another layer of it just to really make it more metallic -y and more intense. And then I feel like I needed some warmth in between the brown and that gold so I put a little bit of this orange shade to diffuse any harsh lines. And then here I'm just taking a concealer and just cutting the outer part of my eyeshadow and this is going to help me set a guide of where my wing is going to go as well. And for liner today, I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Liner in Black. I'm gonna use this for my wing. Um, like I said before, I've done my wing 100 times on camera, so I'm gonna zoom right past this. And then to make the look even more intense, I'm going in with this black eyeshadow, and this is from the Morphe 35B palette. I'm gonna make it a little bit deeper where the liner meets the eyeshadow. This is totally optional, you don't have to do that, but I wanted my look to be a little bit more smoky, so I went in with the black eyeshadow. So for lashes today, I'm using my favorite combo, and it's the Ardell Wispies and the Kiss Lashes in the style Flirty. It just makes like the perfect lash for me. I absolutely love it, and it's so easy to apply. It's like not even a thick band, and oh, I just love it so much. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to prepping the lower lashes, I'm using the Essence I Love Stage Eye Base. You guys already know it's like my favorite like eye primer. Like I don't know why I didn't discover it earlier. It's awesome, and make sure you set that so it doesn't crease on you. And then I'm gonna take the lightest shade in the Morphe 35O palette and highlight my brow bone. I don't know why I decided to do it now, but I did, so we're gonna go with it. <laughs> and then for the lower lashes, you guys already know, I am applying the same transition shades that we used um, on the crease, and only a few of those brown eyeshadows, because I don't want it to look too like messy down there, too dark, where it's gonna like bring my eyes down. 
So here, just to deepen it, I'm going in with this chocolate brown shade and doing sweeping motions on the lower lash line. And then I also do go in with some white eyeliner in just a bit, and that's gonna help really make our eyes pop, especially that lower lash line. And the white eyeliner that I'm using is from Ramel London. Here I'm taking a little bit of that same black eyeshadow and only applying it underneath that white eyeliner, um, just around that rim so we could really smoke it out. And then taking that same brown eyeshadow that we used to deepen the crease, that darkest brown, I applied that just to smoke it out a little bit more too. Now for um, mascara for my lower lashes, I'm taking the Balm Cosmetics Mad Lash Mascara. I love it for lower lashes. So when I really want my inner corner to pop, I'll take my white eyeliner and do a little dot on the inner corner like this and kind of blend it out and do that a few times and then I go in with my inner corner shade. Today I'm just using the same color that I used to highlight my brow bone. So that's the eyes done. I'm going to do my foundation off camera and I'll be right back. So I'm pretty much done with everything on my face. I just wanted to show you guys my highlighting and today I'm using the new highlighter in Salted Caramel that I used on my lid. I was super excited and I was Oh, so eager to apply this on my face. It was so pretty. I think my favorite thing about this highlighter is that it's buildable. It allows you to be very soft, a very subtle highlighted look, very glowy, and then also allows you to build it up to become very metallic-y and very like beaming, like you can see me from the sky, like I'm blinding you type of thing. So today I went for the more blinding look, but I love that it's super buildable and I really like the color and it's so pretty. I can't wait to try the other ones. And then my girlfriend also got me one of the Coco Collection liquid lipsticks. She got me the color Gorge, you guys. This color is literally Gorge, and the formula is amazing. It doesn't dry out my lips. I know a lot of people can, like compare them to the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lips, but I have some of those, and this doesn't feel like that at all. I love the color. The pigment is there. The formulation is amazing in my opinion, and I absolutely love this color. So this is pretty much the look done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and you guys liked this makeup look. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave. And I will check you guys out in my next video. As always, bye guys.